Hey guys, I wanted to share with you my summertime makeup routine because it very much differs from how I wear my makeup in the wintertime. The only thing that's about the same is that I wear sunblock and I have already put this on. So I'm going to go ahead and use my Urban Decay Primer Potion and I use this in the summertime um, as a little bit of a, like added protection against creasing and I always use this even if I'm going to use a paint pot or like a cream color base, I always use my Urban Decay Primer Potion because I sweat really bad in the summertime. I sweat like a guy and I need that little extra something to keep creasing from occurring on my eyelid. So I always use this and then whatever, you know, like cream color base or a paint pot or anything like that, I put that on over the Urban Decay and I don't get any creasing at all. So, another thing that I don't do in the summertime is I don't wear any foundation or tinted moisturizer. I don't put anything like that on my face. Because of my job, I'm in and out all day long. I do sweat and I don't want my face to appear cakey or melted. So, unless I know that for sure I'm going to be indoors, I don't use any foundation or tinted moisturizer. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and use a little bit of my... Um, I'm going to use a paint pot today. I'm going to use Rubenesque. I'm going to go ahead and put that all over. Now this isn't a, a makeup tutorial. I'm just sharing what I do in the summertime with you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and finish putting this on and I'll be right Okay, another thing I do is I use a cream blush. So today I'm going to use this one here. It's from NYC. This is Pink Plaza. Now I use a cream blush because, again, I sweat a lot. And when I use a cream blush and I put a powder over it, it really helps to keep my blush in place and it doesn't move. So I always use a cream blush in the summertime. And I don't use a lot because I do put a powder over it. But it's nice because just like a primer for your eyelids, the cream blush will give something... To, um, for the powder to adhere to, to stick to. So it really does stick. Okay guys, the next thing I do is I always use a wax on my eyebrows. So either <clears throat> I will use the wax in my Lorac Take a Brow or my e.l.f. eyebrow palette or I will use a pencil. Eyebrow pencils are waxy in consistency and the reason that I always use a wax, I will in the, the winter time but not always, but I make sure that I use um, a waxy base product for my eyebrows because Again, it keeps my eyebrows on. And I do sweat a lot. And sometimes I notice with certain powders that I use, <clears throat> because I do get quite damp on my face, sometimes the powder will move. So I found that if I use a wax and then I put a powder over, they stay in place. So I went ahead and I used this pencil. And then what I do is I comb through with an eyebrow or um, yeah an eyebrow brush and I just comb the wax through and then I will go ahead and put my powder on over. Okay guys so what I'm going to do now is use a waterproof mascara and I always use a waterproof mascara in the summertime because what happens for me is it ends up down here. When I line my waterline in the summertime it ends up down here. So I usually don't use anything on my lower lashes or my lower waterline. Now Something like this Ulta mascara that feels like plastic after it dries, um, this actually doesn't budge. So I've been using this on my lower lashes. Another thing that you can do to kind of prolong your waterline, the liner on your waterline, is I rearranged my drawers here so my stuff is, I'm not used to where all my stuff is situated. <clears throat> what you can do is, I use this matte chromographic pencil and I will line my lower waterline with this and then I'll go over it with black and it kind of helps to keep it stay in place longer. Um, but like I said, if I'm going to be in air conditioning, I, I don't care, I'll go ahead and line it. But if I know I'm going to be outside for most of the day, I just usually skip it because I end up with a huge mess. So I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes and I'm going to use my waterproof mascara. And I'll be okay, so I went ahead and put on the waterproof mascara. So if you're one of those kind of people who absolutely has to have something on your lower lash line or your waterline, what you can do is use some of your Urban Decay Primer Potion. 
um, or whatever primer that you like to use and make sure that you run some of that at your lower lash line and that will help keep that eyeshadow in place. Um, for me, that will work for the first couple hours during the day and then everything kind of makes its way down here. So like I said earlier, I usually just don't put anything on the lower lash line. Waterproof eyeliner will help if you if you're the kind of person that doesn't sweat that bad. You know, waterproof eyeliner, waterproof mascara, primer along the lower lash line. That will help keep everything in place. Now, for some of you, you're lucky. You don't have issues um, with your makeup making its way down here. But for those of you that are like me that sweat pretty bad in the summertime, um, it's a good idea to take as many precautions as necessary if you are going to use anything on your lower lash line or your waterline. Um, for me, it's just easier to just forego anything on the lower lash line. Um, so I went ahead and I put some blush on and I put it right over <clears throat> where I use the cream blush and this will stay all day. It won't budge. I'm going to do a video where I show you guys what I, my makeup in the morning and I'll show you the time and everything and then when I get home in the evening um, and I'll wait till like 8 or 9 o'clock in the evening and you'll see that my blush has not budged, that it stayed in place. Um, so basically that's it. I do use concealer. Um, I, I always do. Like This is the one thing that I do keep using in the summertime because I do have allergies and the allergies will make the dark circles or the dark spots right here even darker. So I do tend to use a concealer but pretty much just kind of keep it right where I need it. I don't really go out this way too far. And what I just used was my Pixie Peach Corrector. And that's lately all I've been doing. Occasionally I will use my Neutrogena Brightening. You know, like a little bit out here. But not too much. So... But, I mean, with my kind of job, if you're the kind of person that is in and out a lot during the day, um, sometimes it's better to just kind of skip, you know, to change up your routine. You know, change up what you use in the summertime as compared to what you would use in the winter. So I am going to use a little bit of powder, and usually what I do is I just lightly dust some powder, and I'll go right over my blush, too. And I don't use a whole lot of powder, but just a little bit. I even go over my eyebrows with the powder as well. Hey guys, I realized I forgot to put like lipstick or lip gloss on, and I don't really do anything special for that in the summertime, um, same as usual. But um, yeah, my summer makeup routine is a lot different than how I wear my makeup in the winter. Um, you know, no foundation, no tinted moisturizer. I usually skip any makeup along the lower lash line or lower water line. And again, it's only because of my job. I'm in and out so much. And when I do attempt to wear any kind of tinted moisturizer or foundation, a couple hours into my shift, my face, I end up taking it off. I buy some baby wipes and I just end up taking it all off. And it's not worth it to me. So I just skip those things. Um, but for those of you who don't have serious issues with like sweating or anything, or let's say you work indoors, um, primers obviously very helpful. Um, if you like putting, um, if if you're in and out all day like I am, but you still like to use something on your lower waterline or your lower lash line, you know, use something like a matte chromographic pencil for your waterline, and then go over that with a black. That'll help to keep it in place. Waterproof mascara. Uh, use your primer along your lower lash line. You know there are things that you can do to help prevent your makeup from sliding all over the place. But um, for me, I just um, follow these steps. You know what I just showed you guys, and it, it seems to work out pretty good for me. Um, I sweat like a man in the summertime. I really do. Uh, my other sisters, I don't think they're as bad as I am, but I'm really like my dad, and I sweat a lot. So I try to avoid, like I said, too much of anything on my face. You know, not I don't put on a lot of powder. As a matter of fact, 
the powder that I put on in the video, that's the last time I'll powder it. Typically what I do is I either use those blotting tissues or paper towels or a piece of toilet paper and I just press it along my face to absorb the oil or the sweat and that's what I do. Um, but the way that I put my makeup on, this will last all day. My eyes won't budge. My, my blush won't budge at all. Basically the only thing I have to do is reapply lipstick or lip gloss and um, use something to blot the oil and that's it. So I hope you guys found that helpful. Somebody, hopefully. If you have any questions or suggestions or there's something different that you do in the summertime that maybe I didn't mention, let me know. And um, if you guys have any questions about the makeup that I put on my face, I'll tell you real quick. On my cheeks I used my NYC cream blush. I got this new blush from Marcel that I used on my cheeks. For my eyes I used uh, Melon Pigment from MAC. I used two different browns and then I used this pigment from NYX. It's called Penny Pearl. So, if anybody is interested, I'll put everything in the description box, but I'm not going to unless somebody asks, because I used a lot of stuff on my eyes. So, anyway, alright you guys, I hope you found that helpful, and let me know what you think. Take care.